Now you can still install over the air updates on the essential phone if you only have the bootloader unlocked. However, Google's safety net checks does monitor whether or not you have the bootloader unlocked. If your bootloader is unlocked, then you cannot use certain applications that require that to pass successfully. And this includes Android Pay. I know for a while Netflix was using it and some banking applications use it as well. And you'll notice if that whenever your bootloader is unlocked, you're going to get this warning screen that pops up during the boot cycle. So today I'm going to show you how to lock the bootloader of the essential phone so that you can pass safety net checks and go back to using Android Pay and any of the applications that require that check. Now before we can do this, we're going to need to have some stuff set up on our computer, including ADB and Fastboot tools. We're going to need to have a command prompt open. But all of this is the same stuff that was required of whenever you unlock the bootloader. So you should have that stuff set up already, but I will be including links and step-by-step -step instructions for all of that in the full tutorial, which will be linked below this video. So once you're ready to start, we're just going to boot up into fast boot mode. And I do want to say that you need to be on stock everything, stock recovery, stock Android, stock everything whenever you lock the bootloader. So it's best to do this after you have flashed the factory images from Essential. And I'll be going over that in a future tutorial. Once you boot up into fast boot mode, we can then connect the USB cable from our computer to the Essential phone. And then we're just going to turn our attention to the command prompt. Or you can even use the Windows PowerShell. So we're just going to type out the command fast boot space flashing space lock. Which is somewhat familiar to the unlock command. We're just replacing unlock with lock. And then we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And once we execute that command in our command prompt or PowerShell, we're going to get this message here on our essential phone. It's asking us if we are sure we want to lock the bootloader. There's a number, number of reasons of why you would want to lock the bootloader. As I mentioned, if you want to pass safety net, you'll want to lock the bootloader. If you're selling the phone or giving it to a friend or family member, you're going to want to lock the bootloader just so that they know everything is trusted. So since the touch interface does not work here, we're going to be using the volume up and volume down buttons to select the yes option. And then we're going to press the power button to select it. You're going to see the essential phone reboot. And at this time we can just go ahead and unplug that USB cable. It's going to do the factory reset, as you just saw. And then it's going to boot us back into Android, except it's going to be the Android activation screen since it just did that factory reset.
this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal because of that factory reset. And we just want to be patient during this process as it's going to eventually boot back up. We feel the vibrate. And now we can activate Android again. So that is the entire process of how to relock the bootloader of the Essential Phone.